Okay, this is just a short video in response to a video that was on Heretic Builders. Uh, I tried to explain a few principles to the gentleman that put it up there, but what I thought I'd do is kind of show him uh, what I was talking about. Uh, this has nothing to do with the passive circuits. This is back using a, a full exciter, and we're doing it off of a 12-volt battery. I've mounted this board up here on these styrofoam cups to show you that there's no coupling underneath. I keep getting this hate mail after I put the passive circuits out. But you can see it's sitting on the styrofoam cups and it's elevated up here. The only thing that's driving the circuit is this small exciter back here. And let's get in here and I hope we won't mess up the video and the sound. But the exciter is coming off of L2. I have two L3s that are perfectly matched for the spatial resonant frequency. And the way you match those is you will take and check the frequency as per my instructions and then either uh, remove wire from one or the other until you get them the same. Now again, these two up here, which are driving the two 12 lead boards off of AV plugs on the ends and the two L3s are just hooked together, these are exactly matched with the two back here. And you can see also that the last L3 off of the exciter does not have a pigtail. It's cut short right there. So all we have are these two L3s right here. And then we've got the two L3s here up front. Each end, or each L3, the end of it is connected to an AV plug and it's driving these 12 LEDs. Now what I've done in the center is I have two coils, which are not L3s really. These are wound for uh, 92 megahertz uh, SRF and again the way they're adjusted is you have to put them on the generator uh, find the SRF and then adjust the other one by either adding or removing turns so you've got two exact coils exact as you can get them anyway and what I've done here is added two AV plugs and a red lead and in order to get the circuit properly balanced I've added some uh, just an alligator clip to one side of the AV plug. The same thing on this end. I've added an alligator clip to it. But what I was trying to point out in the, vi in the comments to the video I'm responding to is that here you can see that, geez, all we're developing is whatever this red lead takes to operate, which is about 1.7 volts. And they're not all that super bright. I mean, they're nice and bright, but they're not, they're certainly not going to blind you. And so I've limited what these two coils are going to pick up by my load. It's not limited by the proximity to L3 because as you see here, they're closer to L3 than what these two boards are out here, which each end is driving 12 LEDs for a total of 24 LEDs. And you can see they're far from dim. If you take a look at those guys, I mean, they're, they're bright. And so they're sitting way out here and you can see the energy that we have developed in the two boards at this point but if we move in here and only load it with one lead we only see what we've loaded it for so in other words if you're going to fall into the trap of using an AB plug and one lead you're going to have trouble finding what your maximum potential is and where exactly you want to place your pickup coils to get the coherence if you stick them real close to the L3s, I'm not going to do that, but if I push them up close to each other, I'll barely light these 12 lead boards. As I move them back away, we'll find a null spot for these two coils, which is different than the null spot for these two coils because they're at a different frequency. Now that again does not have anything really to do with the uh, wavelength of the signal coming across here because these are tuned right here to 26 megahertz. Uh, I've, I'm exciting them at 13, but they're tuned. The SRF is 26. These are 92 megahertz. So you can see, and I hope that this kind of helps explain what I was trying to say about you're only going to see what you're loading it for.